This video is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's winner and still king of the cage, the Wolverine. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 live action movie adaptations of comic book characters we waited years to see. Normals is setting on the dryer. Thanks, buddy. Mommy. My man. I'm not a comic book villain. For this list, we're looking at live action debuts of comic book heroes and villains that fans had waited ages for. We'll be including theatrical films only, so no TV shows or made for television movies. Are there any characters you're still waiting to see in live action? Tell us who and why they'd be great in live action. Let's go. Number 10, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. With the doctor, it's strange. Maybe. Who am I to judge? First introduced in 1963, Doctor Stephen Strange is not an easy Marvel character to adapt to live action. Magic isn't exactly something that pre-computer graphics special effects could pull off convincingly. Granted, a TV movie was made in the late 70s, but it wasn't until the 2010s that the character made it to the big screen. Who are you in this vast multiverse, Mr. Strange? Not only was Benedict Cumberbatch a perfect fit for the role, but the effects used to create his magical abilities are totally mind-bending. It may have taken decades to happen, and the wait was long for those of us without a time stone, but it was worth it. Ramamu, I've come to bargain. You cannot do this forever. Actually, I can. Number 9. Bebop and Rocksteady. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Out of the Shadows. You're a rhinoceros! And you're a... I don't know what you are. <laughs> All right, let me look, let me look, let me look. I'm a... Oh. I'm a little piggy. The Ninja Turtles have frequently clashed with Bebop and Rocksteady, mutant criminals who are crossed with a warthog and rhinoceros, respectively. The dim-witted duo first appeared on screen in 1987 as Shredder's bumbling henchmen and in the comic book series Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures the following year. They were originally planned to appear in the 1991 movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, but issues with the rights led to them being replaced by substitutes. Finally, 25 years later, Bebop and Rocksteady took to the big screen at last. Y'all got jokes, huh? But let's see how funny you are after we bash your hands in! While opinions have been divided on the quality of Out of the Shadows overall, these two are one of the highlights. Thanks, buddy. My man. My man. Number 8. Thanos. The Avengers. To challenge them is to court death. Thanos is among the most powerful villains in Marvel's comics. He's also, you know, a big purple alien. Live action adaptation of such a character seemed utterly impossible. That's why during the mid-credits scene of the Avengers, Marvel fans' jaws hit the floor when they saw the man behind Loki was Thanos. The character's subsequent appearances delivered on that initial hype, too. They called me a madman. And what I predicted came to pass. Congratulations, you're a prophet. I'm a survivor. Josh Brolin managed to convey Thanos' menace, gravitas, and even pathos with grace, and the effects that helped bring him to screen are impressive. If you would have told us a decade or two ago that Thanos would be the big bad of the MCU's first saga, we wouldn't have believed you. Thankfully, he was inevitable. I am inevitable. Number 7. Aquaman. Justice League. Arthur Curry. Also known as Protector of the Oceans, the Aquaman. This hero's first live action appearance was actually on Smallville. He also had a cameo in Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. But Justice League is the aquatic hero's first leading role on film. You really are out of your mind. I'm not the one who brought a pitchfork. 
Although not as elaborate as some others on our list, Aquaman's powers are still tough to take seriously without some decent effects. Technology catching up to imagination as well as excellent casting with Jason Momoa helped realize one of the most fierce versions of Aquaman ever. His excellent first showing in this crossover movie helped launch the success of Aquaman's own solo movie the next year. I am the protector of the deep. I am Aquaman. Number six, everyone. Watchmen. You know, for a guy who calls himself the comedian, I can never tell when you're joking. Watchmen. That's the real joke. Didn't work 15 years ago, sure as hell ain't gonna work now just because you want to keep playing cowboys and Indians. Yeah, we couldn't decide on just one character for this one. Watchmen has long been considered one of the greatest graphic novels ever written. Beloved for its flawed characters, depth, complexity, and length. The latter three are also reasons why it was long considered unfilmable, though attempts to bring it to the big screen began as early as its first year of publication. It took 23 years, but Watchmen finally made it to live action. I must return to my work. Wait a minute. What if that's why someone wants us out of the way? So we can't do anything to stop it. Goodbye, Rorschach. And whatever you think of the style and changes made to the story, the movie did get the heroes and villains more or less right. With few exceptions, it feels like the characters have leapt off the pages and onto the screen. I'm not a comic book villain. Do you seriously think I'd explain my masterstroke to you if there were even the slightest possibility you could affect the outcome? Number five, Harley Quinn, Suicide Squad. Harley Quinn, nice to meet ya. Love your perfume. What is that, the scent of death? Originating as an animated character before making waves in comics, Harley Quinn started out as the Joker's henchwoman slash love interest. Every bit as charismatic as he is, Harley Quinn was intended to appear in live action in the late 90s. However, the failure of the Batman franchise at the time nixed her chances to be portrayed in three dimensions. However, our loss then led to our gain now, as 2016 saw her appear in Suicide Squad. While the film itself had a mixed reception, easily one of the most praised aspects of it was Margot Robbie's performance as Harley Quinn. Normals is sitting on the dryer. People like us, we don't get normal. Why is it always a knife fight every single time you open your mouth? She embodies Harley's delightfully unhinged personality, and she proved so popular that she led the Birds of Prey movie that followed. Here's looking forward to more Harley soon. She said they wouldn't find us. Relax. No one knows we're here. Harleen Quinzel, this is Gotham Police. Okay, so they know. Number four, Black Panther, Captain America, Civil War. The Black Panther has been the protector of Wakanda for generations. A mantle passed from warrior to warrior. Created all the way back in 1966, during the Silver Age of comics, Black Panther was long overdue for a live-action adaptation. While Wesley Snipes was apparently interested in the idea in the late 1990s, nothing ever came of it. It took the Marvel Cinematic Universe to bring Wakanda's king to the big screen. Chadwick Boseman's charismatic and intense performance burst onto the screen in the crossover film Captain America Civil War. Black Panther may have been a supporting character in the movie, but he's certainly a highlight. Vengeance has consumed you. He's consuming them. I'm done letting it consume me. His follow-up solo film is also one of the MCU's most successful. It's a tragedy we only got one film with Boseman as T'Challa. Zidaka! What's up? I never yielded! Number three, Wolverine, X-Men. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's winner and still king of the cage, the Wolverine. While all the X-Men are beloved, Wolverine is easily a favorite. The immortal Berserker first appeared in the Incredible Hulk comic series back in 1974 and was a main character in the X-Men animated series of the 90s. But he only made his live-action debut in 2000's X-Men. Hey, hey, it's me. Prove it. You're a dick. Hugh Jackman may not have been what most people thought of initially when it comes to Wolverine. 
He's too tall for one thing, but he came to embody the character. His long tenure playing Wolverine has completely cemented him as the definitive actor in the part. We don't envy whoever has to follow in his shoes. As I live and breathe, the Wolverine. Number 2. Wonder Woman Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice I've killed things from other worlds before. She with you. Wonder Woman first appeared in live action in a failed 1974 TV pilot. The following year, she starred in a new TV show that lasted for three seasons. However, she then disappeared from live action, something especially frustrating for comics fans, since Wonder Woman is right up there with fellow DC icons Superman and Batman. It took a wait of over three decades to finally bring her to the big screen. A hundred years ago, I walked away from mankind. From a century of horrors. Although she was a supporting player in Batman vs. Superman, Wonder Woman's every scene is fantastic. Gal Gadot would go on to lead her own movies as the Amazonian Warrior and have a main role in Justice League. I don't believe it. What are you? A believer. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Deadpool. 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 Captain Deadpool. No, just... Just dead dead. Yeah. If you think Wade Wilson's appearance in X-Men Origins Wolverine counts, you're wrong. That's not an opinion, it's a fact. Fortunately, that utter travesty did increase fan fervor to finally get the real Deadpool on screen. Ryan Reynolds was still the right man for the job, and 25 years after Deadpool was first introduced in the comics, the Merc with the Mouth at last got a proper live-action debut, this time with Mouth included. Anyway. I got places to be, a face to fix, and oh, bad guys to kill. Deadpool was everything fans hoped for and more, with Reynolds taking to the role like a fish to water. Not only have he and his movies busted records at the box office, they've also managed to make us bust our guts from laughter. You're still here. It's over. Go home. This video is brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. 